Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, I'm gonna be mounting the bumper to my 1994 C2500 Chevy pickup, or GMT 400, or OBS Chevy pickup. So there are at least three different ways on how bumpers mount to the OBS platform. One of them is this bracket system that goes directly to the bumper and then a support bracket out to the side, which I'll show you here in a second. The second way that I've seen it is on the heavy duty bumpers. They're actually welded to the bumper and it's a straight bracket that goes into the frame rails. The third way is on the Tahoes and Suburbans and the other SUVs. They actually mount to the rails, but also to the floor pan of the uh, back of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get this mounted up now. So pay very close attention to this. You have to do this in a particular order, otherwise you can't get it on. If you are taking the bumper off, just reverse this process. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the bracket in the frame rail. There's a notch that keeps the bracket from sliding out. So you cannot just remove the bolts and then pull the whole bumper and the bracket off. Doesn't work like that, unfortunately. It took me an hour and a half to get these disassembled at the uh, local pull apart, but should go much faster putting it in. So this bracket, you need to get it in place. I wouldn't tighten it down yet, but there's a retaining bolt that goes on the back. So we'll stick that bolt through from the other side. Put our nut on. Just finger tight again. We're just holding it in place. This bottom nuts or bolts rather goes in the welded on nut. Again, we're just putting it there to hold it in place. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So not only do these hold the brackets in place, they also make sure that your main holes are aligned so you're not fumbling with the screws when you get it in there. Now we need to attach the second bracket, the support bracket. Take two of our 18 millimeter bolts and nuts. The bracket sits on there just like that. Slide the screws in. Finger tighten the nuts on the other side. Okay, now that is obviously super loose, but it gets everything where it's supposed to be. Then we can mount the bumper to it. And again, I'm leaving everything loose so it's easy to just line up all the holes and I'm not having to force anything. So let's go ahead and put the other side on. Now I'm going to lift this bumper up on to the brackets and get them situated in place and put the bolts in from the brackets to the bumper.
look at that. Cleanest thread so far. Well, looks like I'm missing two bolts, but uh, I think I actually have them around here somewhere, but uh, no big deal. Um, I'll definitely pick those up before I pick up uh, what I'm going to get tomorrow, which you guys will see in the next video. Okay, so now that everything is in place, but not tightened down yet, we're going to make sure that the bumper is on straight and then get it torqued down. Never mind the plastic trim. Just worried about the metal at this point. Should have tightened those down first. Oh well, not that big a deal. Well, the three quarters socket and wrench were slipping. I only have one 18 millimeter, so. Go to the vice grips. All right, that should be good enough. Move on to the other side. And yes, there are two, one over here and one up here that I'm missing. Like I said, I'll pick those up and put those in before I go on this trip and pick up what I'm picking up. guys for watching don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think do you do it differently have you tried the other two bumper mounts whatever it is leave in the comments below billy d peacing on out of here we'll see you in the next one